This morning in flu watch, H1N1 and asthma. Asthma is by far the most common underlying condition in those who were hospitalized with the H1N1 flu. So what can you do to protect yourself? Joining us is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Good morning, doctor. Kelly. So first, let's clarify. Does this mean people with asthma are more likely to get H1N1 or more likely to have a more serious the latter. Version. They're definitely more susceptible to serious complications from any respiratory infection and H1N1 flu or the seasonal flu is really no different. We know that the vast majority of people who have been hospitalized with complications of H1N1 did in fact asthma, so we need they need to be aware that they're at higher risk and intervene sooner rather than later if they think they're getting a problem. So why are they at higher risk? Well, it's a combination of factors. Their lungs are more susceptible to inflammation, and then if they are infected with, again, any upper respiratory infection, such as H1N1, they are more prone to pneumonia, as well as just a simple asthma exacerbation, both of which can be a critical problem for very, them. Very, very serious, right. So if you're thinking about getting the uh, the vaccine, right. you have asthma, is that a must? Uh, well, it is highly recommended for anyone with an underlying medical condition, especially those with asthma. However, those people do need to be aware that they should get the shot version of the vaccine, not the spray. Okay, why not the spray? The spray contains a live but weakened virus, so they really need to get the inactivated form. And if they think they're suffering from any kind of asthma exacerbation, they need to see their doctor and, again, get aggressive treatment sooner rather than later. Okay, and if you get it, call the doctor right away? Absolutely. You don't want to put that off. Don't mess with it. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you. Mm -hmm.